What is going on guys? Welcome back to my WTF series. I'm back again after God knows how long. He loves, loves bad movies. So this is up his alley. Um, and <laughs> I know a lot of you guys don't know this movie. And Hercules in New York. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger's first American film. Basically a movie about Hercules in New York. How do I word this movie and not come off on, on, on another rant because I don't want because when I go on my rants I go on my rants. You, oh, you've yeah. seen it. Oh, okay. I've seen it. I've, I, yeah, I've seen you, it. You the see cat in the hat, like where you're you're breaking down in insanity, uh -oh. like he did last time he saw this film. The most memorable part of the experience was the most infamous scene of the movie, and it's Arnold Schwarzenegger versus. A guy in a bear suit. Not just any bear. Oh, no, no, no. They went the extra mile to make sure it was a guy in a bear suit. My problem with this scene is they, the, the, the directors, the producers, and the actors didn't feel like they needed to speak up about this, but this said guy in a bear suit <laughs> was fist fighting. <laughs> and tell me, when does a Paul... <laughs> Do that, <laughs> and one does another bear. What does? When have you ever seen a bear? When have you seen a freaking bear go like this? I'm gonna attack you. Like the the, the choreography in this movie is sloppy. I feel so sorry for the guy in the bear suit. It looked like he gets fucking clotheslined by Arnold. You just see the bear guy just like wobble over and he falls over. It is the greatest cinematic fight I have ever seen. And yes, I am being sarcastic. No, I don't know who did the choreography. We had to like, look at the credits again. But I mean, the movie is just so bad. Like, like, everyone's name on it. I'm pretty sure they were all ashamed of working on that film. I mean, you know, thankfully, Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't Arnold Schwarzenegger at the time. He was oh, like, they called was him Arnold, Arnold Strong. Strong. Yeah, and, that's, and, and I know why they did this. The reason they changed that name was because Schwarzenegger would have been so hard to pronounce. Before Conan the Barbarian, before T-800, there was Hercules. And before Danny DeVito and a white and blue Pegasus. There was Pretzi, the pretzel guy. Nothing would have made that movie without him. I, I, <laughs> honestly, every time you were mentioning Pretzi, I was like, are you just giving him a nickname? <laughs> this is real. Pretzi, name. the pretzel guy. <laughs> and for, let me talk, no, let me talk to the, the, the viewers for a minute about Pretzi. Director, <laughs> why in God's green earth? Are you so interested in his reactions to everything? I swear to God, every 15 fucking seconds, I see him go, Eh? Huh? He just what? like, he just like, he fell, he, he fell up. Oh my God, the, the language couldn't have been, you know, speaking of like, bad things, can we talk about the cinematography and editing? Okay, you know, you guys know me. I hardly ever mention editing because, I mean, A, a good a good editor's job is usually noticed when you don't notice it. It's a sad truth in life, but that's the case. Once you're an editor, you can't help but notice cuts. <laughs> but this... I've seen some of the nastiest cuts in high school. My teacher would have shunned me. He would have been like, Kyle, get out of my class and go back to Media One if I produce something like that. Jump cuts galore. Oh my god, there was this one jump cut. You have Zeus and Mount Olympus. I'm sorry, Mount Olympus Central Park. <laughs> Okay. So stupid! And there is this part where they're trying to see what Hercules is doing, and they're re removing the blanket over this foggy looking fake ass crystal ball, and then all of a sudden, as they're removing, it cuts to once they're like, they're all settled. Like, like it's just so jarring, like, even he noticed. It was like, it was so off putting. I, I lost my shit at that point. I only cracked a smile a couple times in this movie because of how bad it is, but the entire time, I was just like, wow. Wow, I'm pretty sure prison sex would be better than this. Prison sex, oh my god. Like, oh. I mean, it's it's much more smooth, convincing, and more passionate. The 
the cinematography. I'm also big into that stuff. And one of the worst things, if the cutting isn't so jarring, it's also the shitty camera movements. Most shots that involve movement, you have this thing where the camera is just shaking so violently. And that's especially true when you go to scenes with the boats or like the carriage. So tell me, when you're looking at, over at New York City, you want to see a nice smooth pan shot. No, this guy was like holding a, he's like, hold my beer, I got this. <laughs> These are level one media mistakes. Level one. Now, this movie was made in 1970 and with a budget of $300,000. I don't know how that much that would have been back then. Uh, I, I mean, that might have been like... Around a million. It's still a low-budget movie, nonetheless. I mean, to me, it was like gift card. Oscar's G-string. Yeah, I think that, that was the budget in total. I think that's... A library? It. No, it was an overdue book. So they actually lost money. Hey, how about we talk about the actual uh, story? Oh, wait. Ha! <laughs> wait. <laughs> what the, story? What? Kyle, it's Hercules... In New York. Oh, can you repeat that? that? That seems very, very meaty of a story. Explain that to me again. Hercules. Okay, I got the Hercules part. In New York. I, I can't get that middle one part. Right, what's the middle plot? What's the middle plot? In. Now I get it! Now I get it! It makes so much sense! Basically, the whole movie is that Hercules is bored of his life in Mount Olympus. Not original. Zeus gets pissed off at him and he throws a concrete rod at him. I'm sorry, it's meant to be a lightning bolt. And then Hercules is sent down to Earth. But first, he has to pass through an airplane where this woman is like having an orgasm. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> oh my God, he was flying. And then she started doing that. He was, was flying. Flying, like I have- He was new and sexy. <laughs> there is no plot, it is just him it's just basically their excuse to show Arnold Schwarzenegger's fucking chest and abs and his oversized muscles. Like, you yeah. have him, you, you, you have him with the freaking, you know, competing against college kids at one scene. All it is is reaction shots because they can't, they don't know how to make it where he can throw a freaking javelin right or something. I don't know. There, there's so many different ways you could have, like, shot that. Without CGI or without like insane reaction shots, like I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say because, so if you don't know how to make a said scene work and look good, then you gotta think to yourself, is this crucial to the story? And we just discussed it. The plot is Hercules is in New York, so you could easily cut that out, and then like nothing would have changed. I mean, the biggest plot point in this entire movie was the Mafia, and they're in there for like, what, 15 minutes? The Brooklyn Italian Mafia. They, that movie would have not been anything without them. I mean, like, I mean, it's the Mafia, so, uh, no, my bad, they're not just the Mafia, they're the pacifist Mafia, because they don't have guns. They, they, they No knives. No knives. They have little to no cars, apparently. <laughs> apparently. We're running out of cars. Oh, well, we'll just press foot from here in this building and corner them. Honestly, I was getting Home Alone vibes. <laughs> I think it's because I mentioned it. Like, no, like, but like, then again, I mean, no, like I was no with, with the the goons themselves. I was like, yeah, they, I'm getting Home Alone vibes with the this. They're, they're, they were secretly the Wet Bandits uh, minions. <laughs> the Wet Bandits. The, they, they, they finally, they finally upgraded. All it is is that yeah, it's Hercules showing off his strength, and and so poorly too. Here goes. Here goes. Okay, so <laughs> explain to me. Everyone knows when I say explain to me, that's my trigger word. So explain to me. This girl, first time she meets Hercules, she sees him, apparently, by picking him up, breaking two of his effing ribs. <laughs> then you know what the next scene we see to them together? They're in, a, they're in the chariot, loving each other. I'm like, you were just saying how you hated him 15 seconds ago because she, he broke your friend's ribs. And his fr the friend who has the two broken ribs is sitting down like that. How do you have two broken ribs? Last time I checked, you'll be in the hospital for like at least a couple weeks, sitting in a bed, crying about life. That scene takes place before the bear fight. So Whoa. stupid. 
At least they actually recorded actual zoo animals before they showed yeah. up there. I was like, impressive CGI. That realistic bear suit thing, or lack of realism. One, There was one thing I loved about the bear fight scene. It was actually not in that scene alone. It was actually in the flashback, where Hercules, or Arnold, literally picks up the guy in a bear suit and then gravity slams him into the ground. <laughs> I was like, god damn! Like, is that necessary? Only you can prevent war aspires unless you are Hercules. I'm Hercules. Oh, my favorite line with him. I'm Hercules. And you have stuck Hercules. <laughs> like, thank you for reminding that you're Hercules, buddy. Thank you. He's a foreigner. He doesn't understand. It's a shame that it doesn't have the same amount of recognition as, like, The Room. But I can understand why, because The Room is more popular. And... And recent. And because uh, where The Room actually has more than one song. Yeah. Hercu Hercules in New York. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know, oh it's my literally God. one song on One loop. score. Only time we get a different piece of score is when Hades shows up to New York and all the lights go out in the fake-looking New York City. I think that's the only time we get an actual different score as far as I can remember. Oh, and tell me, why is uh, the um, Empire State Building as thin as my pinky? Tell me how that works. Yeah, it's like we hit an alternate dimension. It's like, it was literally reminding me. When I saw it, I was like, wow, this reminds me of Tim Burton's uh, Batman, <laughs> funny enough, City. Funny enough, like, uh, it is also produced by i think this animation company i don't remember what it was called at one point it's like it's the only time they use animation and they never bother using animation for anything else like they could have done it with zeus's lightning bolts where they opt for fucking concrete rods that are bent to look like lightning bolts very poorly mind you or when they have this uh, girl named nemesis go down to earth who was supposed to weaken hercules and oh, this ring take it's it, it's got cocaine in it. I'm just saying that because it looks like cocaine, and it's meant to weaken Hercules because that's a very important part of the movie. And she takes the ring off, slips it in the drink. I kid you not, it's like one of those toy rings you find at a play store or some shit, or like those those uh, art stores. And then that weakens Hercules. I mean, instead, they could have just done some animation like the ring. I don't know, it's just something to do with animation. One last thing I really want to pinpoint is, okay. So, Zeus. Hercules. <laughs> Zeus, here it goes. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, no, it's... Oh, it, boy. It, 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 I'm not sure if we're thinking about the same thing right now. It's... They're, they're Greek names. Oh, this. Oh, my God, this. So, then tell me, why is there a guy named Mercury and then Pluto? And then I think the one time they threw out the name Venus. <laughs> I hope you know that's Roman. You can't have Greek mythology mixed with Roman mythology. They're yeah. the same character, but with different names. But, like, if you're going to go with something, at least pick one or the other. Don't go with, like, Hercules and Zeus and then throw out a bunch of fucking Roman names. Okay? Like, give us just Greek names. I know, like, we're mostly ridiculing this thing. Because it's trash! Okay, final thoughts before I throw up. Five out of five. Thumbs up, Roger Ebert style. Best fucking movie ever. It, it, it's just incredible. <laughs> he doesn't know what to say. No, I know what to say. Okay, let's say this. I'll, I'll, I'm going to say this up front. And you can quote me if you will. I would prefer prison sex. I'm talking about hard core prison sex i'm talking about i'm talking about the thickest mofos in that prison i'll take that oh my god in the butt oh before i watch this movie again hercules in prison no that would be a straight up porno i'm afraid i'm hercules okay i'm gonna honestly if i'm gonna break this i'm gonna give it like a one out of five stars honestly you don't scare me i'm hercules wow <laughs> wow. Okay. I can't wait for next week because, you know, I, I just love wasting my time with bad movies because who does? I mean, it make, in a way, it makes you appreciate the good movies even more. I have a Twitter, Instagram, gums underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please take a job all that crap. And I'll see you guys whenever. Oh, but never because you're never coming back. You're trash.
Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay then. Um. Yeah, go. No. It was okay. nice knowing you. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, let's just go. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you out. I'm Hercules!